Uh, are you going to Headingley on on uh, Sunday? Yes. yes. I've oh. just been bought me uh, wipes for the desk and the, the hand gel and <laughs> the face masks. Didn't you do that already when you were going to Yorkshire then? Is that, that, that not a new thing? I jet washed myself. Oh, not me. I'm not going <laughs> to <my God. laughs> I'm going to be watching on TV because uh, no one wants to employ me. And I don't want to get in the way of everyone, either, uh, most importantly. Are you going, Phil? Will you be there for the exciting resumption? Uh, I, I have applied to be there. I have a reason to be there. But I think um, they're going to be really strict on Good. numbers. And I think media will be rotated around the, the first few weekends of games to make sure that those who, who need to be there for have a reasonable excuse to be there uh, can be there. And... Those that aren't will still get access to the, the post-match, but from the uh, luxury of their living rooms. Yeah, I have to dress up smart for that. I have to put a shirt on just to pretend I'm working. Um, I've never, do you wear a shirt normally? No. <laughs> <laughs> Only at Wembley, when everyone does. Uh, certainly Wembley, where no one, uh, where loads of people are there who don't need to be there. But, you know, that's uh, another topic. Uh, Carters, first of all, how excited are you then by the return of Super League this weekend? Very excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'll agree. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm excited. It's been, God, it's been four months. Like Nearly of, five, yeah. Nothing. That is a long time. Like when he started, he's like, oh, it'd be a couple of weeks, then it'd be another couple of weeks, and you think, then it's like, bloody hell, it's nearly five months now. And well, football's well. finished, there's nothing left to watch, well, apart from the playoffs, but... Scottish yeah. football's back at the weekend, the Scottish Premiership, so that, you know, that's exciting. I'm not yeah, interested no, in that, sorry. Yeah. No, I mean, I am really excited. I feel like... Oh, I don't know. I, I actually don't know what I've done with my time. Well, you, you'll say you've been busier than ever. I but... have been busier, busier when there's no games on than when there is games on. I, mean, I, th I think there has got to be a mixture of excitement and trepidation. Because um, it's going to be so foreign, and, and, you know, for everybody who's involved, the players, um, anybody who is there working at the game, those who are sat, sat at home. That there is no protocol for what we're going to see. The game's going to look different because clearly there are two significant rule changes. Um, th there is still an outside worry that what's happening in Spain at the moment may affect Catalan this week because uh, Barcelona obviously is one of the areas where there's a, a rise in infection. So I'd, the whole Toronto thing, who should have been the first game that we were seeing, I, I think it's it's sort of mixed feelings. It's a bit like going to a new school. You're not 100% sure what to expect, but you think you're going to like it as, as long as they've got pink custard for lunch. Oh, no, I hated school. Did you? Oh, yeah, I couldn't stand it. I don't know if that's uh, in hindsight telling me that I hated it, but no, no, no. Didn't like school at all. Certainly not secondary school, even though that's where I played. The only times I played rugby was at secondary school in my illustriously terrible career. Um, so we're, we are excited. The, the good news is, of course, from the test last week in Super League, no positive cases from players or staff. So fingers crossed um, the players and the staff keep within their bubbles and don't take any unnecessary risks and it remains that way. For the foreseeable future. Oh, stay off Instagram, then you'll see some right things on there. Just saying. <laughs> Is that where you get most of the stories from? Ooh, yeah. You see some right things on Instagram, well, Phil, I'll so show you. I'm too old, I don't want to even go there. Oh, I love it, I love it. But it's like anything, it's like where we're at as a, as a country, this stage right as a country, we're at the stage where if you're sensible and act within the guidelines, then everything's going to be all right. If you step out the guidelines, then you're risking it, aren't you? Yeah, Best. there's got to be like, there's always an element of like personal responsibility, isn't there? And I think ugh, there is an element in society, isn't there, where it, there's always somebody else to blame. Yeah. But I think going forward, everyone's got to take some sort of responsibility for their, for their actions. So it's... That's what success will be based on, won't it? Is, yeah. It's look, look, you're right, Phil. Though it's going to be different on all levels, all levels. Like for us working, for fans watching, like fans not being able to go. You know, it, it's going to be strange sat there and it just being silent for a start. You know, I, I don't know if I can sit I, in silence. God. 
Apart from bleeping out the swearing, clearly. Uh, you can imagine Sky's entire commentary is going to be an apology to everybody. Uh, I'm sorry, but if you heard something there that well, you shouldn't have heard, of course you're going to hear it. There's nobody in the ground. You're going to have microphones near the players. I like to do a little uh, neutral yes every now and then. 